Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. I am here today in the live realm at the site of the new Darkmoor Skeleton Key boss to discuss with you guys some tips and tricks and some strategies for beating this boss. Now, just like <laughs> just like whenever Darkmoor first came out, whenever we first started with this plant boss, it was tough. It was hard. It was they cheated left and right. It seemed like you were never going to win. Now, this last battle, the way we had it set up, nobody died and everybody pretty much finished with almost full health if not full health so i'm going to tell you what it is what we did to help you guys out so you can come and get your loot without getting the crap beat out of you <laughs> to put it frankly all right first things first there's been some changes in this since test realm in test realm you couldn't use any damage or time at all no fire elf you know nothing like that no storm cat no nothing you couldn't use any damage or time now you can use damage over time definitely against the death vines but not against the life vines I'm not sure because we haven't had a myth vine yet but for sure you can use damage over time against the death vines and the damage over time counts as a hit so if you have a fire elf down and nobody else has a hit you won't take the cheat like you ordinarily would if nobody hit that's, that's one of the important things right there for those of you who don't know there is no no blading whatsoever, ordinarily. No blades. If you cast up any kind of blade or anybody casts any kind of blade on you, you all take a mass hit. Um, it's Stormlord for the Life Vines and it's Scarecrow for the Death Vines. And I forget what it is for the Myth Vines, but, it, but there is a mass hit involved. Okay, so you can't cast any blades until the vine across from you is dead. You want to cast a blade. Say you're the, the last person. You're the anchor. You're the hitter on the team. The fourth vine has to be dead for you to cast blades. Still yet, if somebody else casts a blade and their opposite is alive, you'll still take the hit. But once your opposite is dead, you can cast blades. Now, the strategy that I'm going to get into involves brand new, off the bat, with everything alive, and will still allow you to win. I just wanted to put that little thing about the blades in there because I see people casting blades in here all the time and that's what's beating them up is everybody takes a mass hit. So don't cast any blades until your opposite is dead. Now another thing that comes to mind, this is what I do, this is what my team consists of for doing Darkmoor. We have two lives. We have one being a tank, usually, I mean, you don't have to have jade gear for your tank, but it, it, I mean, it's helpful, you know, they take less, take less damage that way. If you have a life that has jade gear, that's great, put them in first position as a tank. Then, my other life goes in spot four. The reason being for that, if you take a hit or get wiped out or what have you, that life in spot four can bring you back before you lose your pips in the same turn. And having pips here is important. <laughs> Every bit of equipment that you can use here is important. The other two players, um, one should be a storm and the other one can be a balance of fire or if you want another storm, you know, it can be any other school. My team usually consists of a life in the first spot, a fire in the second spot, and I use a fire preferably as my other player because of those damage over time things. You know, it, it can just sit there and spam fire elf and, you know, it's the fire is usually, usually the spam hitter. And then there's me. And then in the fourth spot is another life. Again, like I said, for that, for that last minute healing you might need. The only blade that I cast is a full power supercharge whenever I get up the pips for it. And the reason for that being, sure, you take a hit for the blades, but that 140% blade is well worth it well worth it. it does, I mean, if you've got any kind of damage on your Storm character at all, you can smack the crap out of them. And it does well. I've done this before with one life, but he's got to be a top grade, know his game, no mistakes whatsoever life. Because if he's not, you guys, you'll, you'll have deaths and you'll have fleas and you'll have to come back and that just screws up the whole program because you've got somebody who's not able to hit or do their part. So I particularly prefer two lives on the team and then a storm and then any other but usually a fire okay that's what we do and and this has worked out like i said we made it through there with no deaths 
and with plenty of life to go around. Plenty of life. You can, there's the rumor going on, here's another tip about it. There's the rumor going on that you can't use Sanctuary because you get damage for it, and that's not true. Life players can cast Sanctuary. The only drawback is if you have Life Vines, they of course benefit from it too, but they don't benefit from it as much as your team does. So if you got a Sanctuary, if you got a Life player that's casting Sanctuary, by all means cast that Sanctuary. Nothing, nothing will hurt you. And those heals are, <laughs> those heals are great. Now this is what we did, like I said, I had my life, and in this case, my, my first spot life doesn't have Jade Gear, but it doesn't matter. You can have it, and it's, that's just a bonus. You don't have to have it, though. I, uh, I waited until I had my supercharge, and I, cast, and I had my critical up, and I cast bugs, and that eats most of them up. That eats up most of their life. You can also, if you have two lives, you have the luxury of the storm casting more than one blade because the life can just, you know, correct for any hits, any mass hits you're taking and the storm can cast mass blades if you have two lives. If you only have one, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. So what I did with my two, two lives is I cast up my supercharge and then I cast a couple of other just, just single blades so I wasn't burning pips or anything and that will do them in mostly in one shot, most of the time. You need to make sure that whoever your spam hitter is, is hitting every turn. Or that somebody is hitting every turn. Because every turn that you don't, you'll get that triple negative cheat. The minus to attack, the minus to heal, and the minus to cast. I have noticed, <clears throat> and I'm not sure this will take further testing, but I have noticed <clears throat> that if you kill one of those vines in a turn, and none of the other vines is hit, it will register as no hit and it, it will trigger the cheat. So you need to make sure that if you're going to kill one of them, you at least wound one of the others. I, I'm not sure why that is, but it's, it's the truth of the matter. Let me see, what else is there that I might, might be able to tell you guys about this? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. I'll run around for a minute while I think here. Oh, there's one. I've noticed this too. Hopefully they fix this. It looks like, as far as drops go, one person in the party does not get a drop. The other three do, and I've tested this a couple of times and it's happened this way the same every time, is that three people will get some sort of drop, but the fourth one will not get anything. So, and it's, it seems like that's random, so be ready for that. I mean, it really sucks to do this and not get a drop, but it's the truth of the matter. I mean, I hope they fix that, but that's the way it is right now. Somebody is going to not get a drop. And it, I, the first time I thought it was a glitch, but we've done it several times. And always one time, one of us doesn't get anything. So be ready for that. Okay, I can't think of any other more important facts at the moment. So I do believe that I'm going to end this video now. If something else comes up that's really, really pertinent to what's going on with this Dark Marquee boss, I will make sure to put it in an update or to add it to the description of this video or anything you might happen to have there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series or other types of things you might want to see. If you want, leave a comment to talk to me, to ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeletal Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. I am here today in the live realm in Darkmoor at the site of the gold skeleton key boss, the new one, the plant boss, to show you the list of drops that this boss gives. Now, I'm pretty sure that I don't have everything that there is, but I've got a lot of it. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what it is so that you can